Hello Floss Tube. I'm Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and this is my Floss Tube update number 144. Uh, today is Saturday, uh, December 5th, uh, 2020, our favorite year. Um, and uh, this is a channel about cross stitch. Sorry about that alert notification sound. Sorry. This is a channel about cross stitch. And but first, I want to I'm going to make you a little seasick here. But I want to. It's the easiest way to do this. Let me grab my. Oh, sorry. Grab my tablet and look over there. It's a Christmas tree. <laughs> it's a. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and right there's a little Christmas at the Burgess, the uh, stitching that uh, my sister Eve did a little bit earlier. Anyway, um, uh, for for the, the last several years that I was in Little Rock, I had a live tree. Uh, I, I had had a, an artificial tree from the time I first moved to Little Rock. Um, and then in a... Uh, when my grandmother passed away, I uh, my aunt gave me uh, their artificial tree, which is a little bit, it was larger than the one I had. And it was good because I was kind of running out of uh, my, my smaller tree that my sister had given me. I was kind of running out of uh, space for ornaments because I had some that I had purchased. And uh, at that time, I was teaching children's choir. And so... For Christmas, I would make an ornament for each of the kids with the year, and you know, it's like those those ornaments from Michaels that had the little gypsum or whatever that you paint, you know. So I would paint something, or, or I'd do something like that for the kids, a little wooden ornaments or something. But I'd put the year on it and their name, and inevitably there were you know kids that didn't show up for our little Christmas uh, uh, program or whatever. So I, I'd end up with, you know, one or two uh, ornaments uh, that I made that were, you know, but so they were on my tree. And then, and then also I had kids who would give me ornaments uh, as little Christmas presents. So I had, you know, several there. So I was running out of room. So I, that I had the, the larger tree that had been my grandmother's. And... Um, but I, I kind of got tired, you know, what I didn't like was the fact that you had to like, once you took all the ornaments off, then you had to take the tree apart. And, and that tree had like little, the, it, the lower branches were like individual things with this twisted wire and you stuck the wire into this round little tray that had little holes in it. So, you know, you put the branches in the little holes and then I think the top of the tree had a thing that would fold down with, a, you know, the branches on the top section. But I just hated it because the, the little twisty things you had to put them on, you know, they were kind of color coded a little bit. You know, they had like, it looked like nail polish, but it was paint, I guess, on the, on the little twisted wire things. And I just, it was very pokey and I just didn't like it. I just, and, and I didn't enjoy the fact that I had to take the tree apart and then I had to stuff it in something to, you know, put it away or whatever. And so uh, at one point I just started buying a real tree. I bought a, a tree stand and I bought a real tree and, and I enjoyed it so much more. And like, um, uh, I had a little cross cut saw and I would like saw off the branches or they would, you know, give me a fresh cut at, at Home Depot. Uh, and they would like, you know, cut off most of uh, some of the lower branches to give it a, you know, a, a long kind of stem, you know, that would fit in the, in the tree stand. But the, the lower branches that I, that were cut off, I would save those. And I had about my balcony had like a, uh, little spiky, you know, wriggling around it. And I would like weave the branches around there to, you know, it was, it was nice. It was lovely, but I liked having a real tree. And then, uh, when we, you know, when we combined our households and everything, um, uh, we had an, an artificial tree. Uh, and so we used those for the first couple Two years, three years. This is our, I don't know if this is our third Christmas here, I think. But, um, like, my sister and I had one 
that we used. And then when we moved in with my parents, when we all, my parents moved out here, we had an, a, you know, an artificial tree. And, you know, and it's, it's, it's not, it's fine, you know, for, since we don't, you know, when I was a kid, we used to go up the mountains and cut ourselves a tree and everything else. And, you know, we really can't do that anymore. And, um, but this year, you know, we had been talking about it on our, that Three Sisters Creative video that we did last week. And I'll talk about a little more about that. But we had talked about, you know, how we used to go get a real tree and all that. And so we had been thinking about it. And so my sister and I were thinking, you know, maybe we could get a real tree, you know. And, um, and my mom was feeling, you know, filling up to it a little bit. So we went ahead and went to a, a tree lot and we chose a real tree. And, um, you know, probably this house with as high as the ceiling is could probably use a taller tree, but you know, we don't want that. <laughs> but the one we, we chose was, uh, is very nice. It's a, it's a, a Douglas fir. Um, and so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's really, it's really nice. And, you know, since I had brain surgery a few years ago, my, my nose is kind of broken and I can't really smell. But my, my nephew was talking about, oh, this tree smells so good in the house. And I, and I can't smell it, really. I can't. But it looks really pretty. And I like, I like just having a real tree. I like that. So, yay. Yeah. Nice. But this is not a channel about trees. <laughs> this is a channel about cross-stitch. And so uh, I'm just going to talk about that right away. Oh, uh, I had mentioned the, the, the Three Sisters Creative video. We, we filmed that again today. And so it'll be up tomorrow for the second Sunday of Advent. And um, a new pattern. We had a little giveaway. And so we have another giveaway this week. But, um, but the giveaway on... Uh, on that channel was for the first advent design and we only had two people that entered for that and um Sharon Metcalf O to be, be purple was the winner of that but we went ahead and we're going to send that to the other person who entered Teresa Chuckle Chuckley I don't know how you say your last name sorry C H U C L E Chuckle Chuckley <laughs> Anyway, she was the other person who, who had asked for it. And so uh, in the little decision roulette spin that I that I did, um, oh, to be purple, Sharon Metcalf won the spin. But we went ahead and, and are going to send it to both of you. So we're just waiting for the uh, for y'all's email addresses. Sharon, I think I have yours already. But um, so if Teresa, if you'll send us your, your email address, we'll go ahead and send that to you. So, you know feeling magnanimous but we had another giveaway with another pattern and if you want to check that out um go ahead and watch that video it'll be up uh tomorrow once it's edited and all that um but so again we we have another advent pattern that's it's in the etsy shop but we're doing uh another uh giveaway drawing um be a subscriber to that video not to this channel if you're already a subscriber I thank you but be a subscriber to that video three sisters creative and um, and uh, you know you would enter on, on in the comment section on that video but that'll be up tomorrow so keep an eye out for that and I will po I will post in the comment section a link to that video when it becomes available um, I, I said last week, I said, I, I'll do a short video when that one's available. I didn't do the video, but I did put the, the link in the comments from, from last week's video. And I will put a link in the comment box from this video when that becomes available tomorrow. Anyway, yeah. So keep an eye out for that tomorrow, Three Sisters Creative video. And that's all three of us, me and my two sisters. Or that video but for this video it's me <laughs> so what have I been working on well one of my whips I, I have I have basically two whips that I'm doing for Christmas that I've been working on one is the wolf by uh, the wolf kit by Bucilla um, sorry uh, that I have not I didn't do any work on it this week since since last week so it's the same as it was last week 
But the other one uh, I'm working on is this Santa knows. Santa knows your heart is true, so he's bringing wool for you. So I worked on this, and I finished Santa's beard, and I finished the white on the sheep here. I didn't haven't done the other colors yet. Um, and then and then I started on the uh, brown. It's actually pecan color. This darker darker uh, not the darkest color, but this this in between color uh, on this penny penny border kind of thing. So here is. Santa knows. So here, down here is the the sheep, the white part, and it it, it calls for um, the pattern calls for ecru DMC ecru, but this uh, natural whatever uh, fabric, uh, I think it's twenty eight count uh, linen whatever. Uh, uh, it's very, it's kind of ecru colored basically. And so the ecru didn't really show up. It looks the same. And it's not so important for the sheep because there's, you know, uh, beige and, uh, around it. There's a weak, it's a weak Starworks color and also a, a DMC color that are around the, the edges of this, this lighter white color. But I used 3865 uh, for the, for the sheep. And so, you can see here where it comes down these little you know so it's called it's going to be like those those two beige colors around this all this white and then he has black feet so but i did this all the, the white part of the sheep and then i did santa's beard also which is also the same color yeah so I started on this border up here, and each of these little scallops, I didn't realize it when I glanced at the border before, but each of these scallops, you can kind of tell, is slightly different. They're, some of them, you know, longer and shorter rows, They're, it's two rows, it's three rows, it's five rows, it's whatever, so, yeah. And then there will be a straight border down the side and a straight border down this side that have these, these little, I start, I did a little bit of the, the, like leaves here and there'll be some like holly berry kind of things i still haven't done this wool sack here but uh anyway so that's santa nose it's coming along i don't have very much time especially because i've got so many other things there's gonna be a our church is having a uh cookie uh baking party exchange cookie exchange um uh, that you know we're all wearing masks and things like that but um, but so that's next week. Um, I'm going over next Saturday to do some baking. And then, uh, so I have like on, on Friday, uh, I'm making sourdough, cr uh, sugar cookies, uh, which is, it's a great cookie that uh, my mom used to make when we were kids. And, and I like them because they get, you put sour cream in the, in the, in the dough and they get very poofy. And, and they're just with milk. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And what my, what we didn't find out until later, my mom figured out later on that, that when we were kids and we used to make it, that she actually put like, I think twice as much sour cream in it as it was, as the recipe called for or something like that. So, and, 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 and actually it's funny because, um, I don't know if she couldn't find the recipe or whatever, um, from when we were, from when she made it when we were kids. Um, and, but then I also looked online for it. And so I had like two or three versions of this recipe and, um, and finally sort of codified it. And I have one recipe written down now. Um, but I kind of had to look it up and, and sort of go over it and, and figure it out. Uh, because for this cookie exchange that we're doing for the church, we're, we're uh, sending in the recipes and they're going to make a little recipe booklet for whoever, everybody who participates. Anyway, so I'm going to be doing that next weekend and I, I'll still be I, trying to make my, my update and um, we still are going to uh, make a video probably from my sister's house um, for the three of us. Hold on one second. Uh, I have a little... 
eruption and I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> oh, about what I'm doing this weekend. So next weekend, um, I'm still probably going to, I'm still going to do uh, my update. We're going to film our next installment of uh, Three Sisters Creative video for my sister's house. But so I'm, I'm going to be over there uh, baking cookies for the exchange. Anyway, so yeah, it's, it's, I, I, time is running out and I'm trying desperately to, to hurry and finish stitching these things so that, um, because, you know, everybody's Christmas is very busy. But, uh, so I do have a finish, not of one of, uh, things, my projects that I'm working on, but something I was doing for my sister. And that is this Waiting for Santa, uh, cross stitch and this is available in our, in our Etsy shop you know our three sisters creative Etsy shop but it's you know two kitty cats and their little Charlie Brown kind of Christmas tree waiting for Santa there's Santa and the reindeer flying across the moon so uh this is uh it's not FFO'd but it's finished the stitching is finished and there's little Santa and his ring tiny reindeer and the cats and their little tree this is all in DMC, uh, except this, I think, up here is Gentle Arts Bamboo. Gentle Arts or, or Classic Color, which I forget which. But this is Bamboo, I know that for sure. So, uh, and, and I used two threads for the back stitch on there on... The reindeer, it's it's kind of important to so that their their legs and their antlers show up. But you could probably do one stitch on this sleigh, you know, but you can see Santa, you can see his little hat. And there's the cats and their little tree. So these ornaments are done in, in uh like like weak sty works, but you know, for like the blue, the blue ornaments, there's only like three of three or four of them. These three, I think one, two, three. So, you know, you could, that's the only place that blue shows up. So you could do a DMC if you, easily for those little things. But yeah, so the cats, I think, came out really cute. And they're there waiting for Santa. So that's cute. That's in the, the Etsy shop. So anyway, uh, yeah, I really, I've only worked on that. I, f I think I finished it on Wednesday or Thursday. And, um, and Santa knows, um, those are the only ones I work on. But I do have a little bit of haul. Uh, um, yesterday, yesterday, my sister and I went to Target because I needed, I, I, you know, I needed to get some stocking stuffers and all that. So I was looking in the dollar spot for some of those things. And, um... And also, I don't remember if these were in the dollar spot. Yeah, they were. Um, but these little ornament kits. So there's a little penguin. And it comes with you know, all the stuff to make the kit. It comes with a little bag of these styrofoam balls. And a, a, a little tree and wreath. And a little candy cane and all that. And then there's instructions, you know, for how to, to make it. This, this little ornament. So it looks like that. And I guess you glue these, you know, on the outside. But there's a little penguin. And, uh, and here's one with a snowman. And it comes with, you know, these little, this little blue glitter stuff, you know. And then here's the one, the snowman, I mean, Santa, this little hat. So yeah, these are, these are fun. Um, it was just, I just bought them on a whim. I don't know when I'm going to make them soon. I don't know. But the other thing I found in the dollar spot was this little window thing. Yeah. And um, and this little it's a little scuffy, but you know this little it's a sled. 
it's a chalkboard thing, but it, you know, it's a little sled, and it has a little, yeah, little hanger thing. So that's kind of cute. I think, I think that'll be fun to finish something on. I don't know what I'm. Gonna, I don't have any specific plans for it, but like everything else I buy, it's like, oh, what looks good. So the other thing I, I, I wanted to go ahead and talk about is the the uh, new Advent. This is the second Advent uh, pattern, and these are on a green background, but that's just for the again for the the digital rendering of the picture. But uh, what is really in the pattern is the little uh, bobbles. But um, there, it's a little clearer on this. But, uh, well, this one doesn't show up as well because it's green. But, um, so there's uh, Mary and Gabriel. Mary uh, getting a message from Gabriel, the angel Gabriel. And this is uh, Mary and Joseph on their way to Bethlehem. Those are stars. There's Mary and Joseph, and there's a little manger. Manger scene, stable scene. And there's the shepherds. The sheep are just little <laughs> little white dots because it says a tiny, uh, tiny pattern. But there's angels up there in the sky. And then there's uh, a little bobble with the wise men. So you could do all five of these together. Um, six? <laughs> six of these? I can't count. Six of these together. Or you could do uh, individual uh, ornaments and, and finish them as ornaments. However you want to do that. So again, this is in the Etsy shop, or we're going to be having a drawing for this next week in the other video. So uh, if you're a subscriber and you like that other, the other, the Three Sisters Creative video, and you can uh, put in the comments on that video when it is available tomorrow, I will, I, I'll put the link in my uh, description box for tomorrow for that video. Um, but again, you can comment um, and say, I'd like to stitch the Christmas baubles or whatever you call it um, uh, on that video. Put the comments on, in the comment section on that video if you want to be entered to win that. Or if you don't want to bother with the, with the drawing, you can purchase it in the Etsy shop. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, I think it's basically like 100 by 100, but I don't think that that count probably um, is counting, you know, these, the, the squares on the other side of it. I don't know. You'd have to, uh, I'd have to look at it. I, I haven't looked at it more specifically to see what the actual count is. But anyway, uh, but, but like the individual, uh, Bobbles, you know, you could do them individually and finish them as ornaments and they would not be that that large at all But so I think that's probably all I have this is a short kind of a short video um, That's everything I think so yeah, so uh, It's a very busy season. Everybody's got lots to do and um, I'm stitching like crazy because I've got I'm thinking Gosh, I have a lot of pieces, finished pieces that I need to FFO because they're Christmas gifts. And then a little more Christmas shopping that I have to do, I think. And the cookie exchange. And I have to make a couple of gifts for, uh, I think I talked about last time, one for my Aunt Alice and possibly one for my Aunt Mary Lou. I haven't, still haven't decided on that. And uh, things like that. So... I think, what am I going to do all this stuff? Um, but yeah, so hopefully soon. <laughs> um, but the fun thing that we did this week was, you know, getting the, the tree yesterday. And so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And and, and just a, a nice, nice change. But anyway, so that's, I think that's about it. Um, again, um, we're... Uh, for last week, the, the winners from the other video, uh, Oh To Be Purple and Teresa Chukwe. <laughs> um, uh, we're, we're going ahead and send it to both of you because it was just the two of you that entered. So, uh, But 
uh, keep an eye out for uh, for when that video is available. It should be tomorrow sometime, and I will post in the description box below on this video when that video uh, becomes available. But uh, keep an eye out, and um, it should. If you're a subscriber, if you've hit that notification bell, you'll uh, know when that video becomes uh, when that video is posted tomorrow. Um, yeah. So okay, and this video uh, every Saturday I do an update every Saturday. So you should, if you're a subscriber, thanks a lot, and you hit that bell, and you'll and you get notifications. Uh, um, uh, and you watch every week. That's great. If you are new to this channel, you can do that. You can hit the subscribe link and hit the little bell and you'll get notified every time I do another video. So I think that's it for this week and I will see you next time. Bye.